years. And now the TSA chief, John Pistol, is in the hot seat. Some lawmakers questioning why he has the job. Paul Brown's one of them, Georgia congressman. He sits on the House Homeland Security Committee. And, sir, good morning to you. Good morning, Bill. It, uh... Well, Mr. Pistol, has, go, go ahead. Uh, the question is, why are your words so strong against him? Um, what, why do well, you want him out? Well, Bill, Mr. Pistol has one job, and that's to keep American travelers safe. He's failed miserably at that job. It's time for him to go. All right, you call the TSA bloated and broken as a bureaucracy? You, you charge that the safety of American travelers requires drastic change, and now is the time for that change. But with that well, comes an obligation and responsibility on your part to give us a solution. What is it? Well, absolutely. Uh, Bill, the, the solution is we've got to stop patting down grandma and children. We've got to start focusing on those who want to harm us. And in fact, I congratulate our intelligence community for interceding and preventing this underwear bomber from getting on the airplane and for Al Qaeda to attack our aircraft. It's not the TSA that stopped this. In fact, the TSA has not stopped one terrorist attack. Not the first one. We've spent almost $60 billion. We have to have the intelligence to stop patting down grandma and children and focus on those that want to harm us. That's what we must do to prevent these kind of attacks. Well, here's what the Department of Homeland Security says in part. John Pistol, it says in quoting now, came to TSA with more than 25 years of law enforcement experience. The secretary and the administration have the utmost confidence in Mr. Pistol's leadership and his commitment to ensuring the safety of all Americans. Again, replace him with what and whom? Well, I don't know who we will replace him with, but the TSA needs to totally change its direction, and the Home Department of Homeland Security does too. And in fact, we have known terrorists flying today. In fact, 17 known terrorists on the no-fly list have gotten on airplanes multiple times and have flown. And we're patting down grandma and children. This is inane. We need to start focusing on those who want to harm us, and that is terrorist. It's going to take intelligence. It's going to take people who are boots on the ground to try to, to infiltrate the terrorist organizations, find out what they're up to, and stop them before they ever get to an airport. And, and the, the, point, got to you stop make, the point you make people. is valid, and, and many would say take all the above strategy here. But still, Bill, the thing oh, we have not stopped any terrorists from flying. We've uh, focusing on objects is not the the way to do this. We've got to have the intelligence. We have to to do what the CIA did in this recent in this recent case. And the Homeland Security. I've been saying this for two years now. The Department of Homeland Security and TSA needs to stop focusing on people it, uh, that are American citizens patting down grandma and children. I, I, I got, got, I got the point on that. And credit to the CIA right. for what they did. Absolutely. Do you favor them. profiling then? And how would you do it? No, we've got to focus on terrorists. And whatever method of focusing on terrorists is the way we need to do that. And it, so we've got to focus on them. We've got to get involved in having the intelligence. We've got to have boots on the ground to get uh, into those terrorist organizations, not only those here in the United States, but overseas. We have not had one, uh, not the first your point. Uh, aircraft in this country that has been involved. It's all overseas. Uh, Congressman Brown, thank you for your time. We've reached out thank to you, John Bill. Pistol. We hope to have him come on and respond to the charges today. Hopefully that will happen out of Washington.